Hello, my name is Sean Conley and I'm the State Soybean and Wheat Extension Specialist at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. Today what I wanted to discuss is probably one of the final growth stages that, for management decisions that we look at in winter wheat. Previously we've discussed uh, field assessments for winter kill, we've also discussed jointing. Now the last one we really need to be able to identify comes back to the fungicide labels and that would be the Feeks 10.51 growth stage or flowering. Now if we look at this winter wheat plant right here, <clears throat> what we generally see with winter wheat is that flowering begins in the middle of the wheat head. We can see the anthers extruded, the yellow anthers were extruded on that wheat head. And what we see with a winter wheat plant is flowering begins in the center of the wheat head and then it basically takes approximately seven days for flowering to occur. And as it begins in the center of the wheat head and then it extends toward the top and bottom of, of the head. During this time frame is when we need to be thinking about stopping any fungicide applications except for those that are specifically targeted for, uh, for head scab. Many of the other ones for broad spectrum control of many of the fungicides such as quilt and headline that we're basically stopped at once flowering begins except for those specific ones targeted for head scab. And this would be the proper timing at Fix 10.1 10.51 where we see this to begin. And again, once we hit this for many of the other fungicides, we'll be off label and we need to stop our spraying uh, under those circumstances.